Hi guys, welcome to our GMAT Club debrief series where we pick out some of the best debriefs from our page and we read them out to you. Today's debrief that we picked out is from a user called Sleepy Doodles and the title of her debrief is GMAT Journey of a 19 Week Pregnant Woman. Her score went from a 590 to a 730. So let's dive right in. So let's start from her profile. She's a 29 year old Bangladeshi female and her pre MBA industry is in the entrepreneurship space. She works at a tech startup and the number of times she took the GMAT was four. So here are the scores she got when she took the test for the first two times. Her first attempt was back in September, 2017 and her score breakdown was a Q39 and a V31 with a total score of 590 and her second attempt was back in December 2018 with a score breakdown of Q36 and V36 and her total score was 600. Now both of these times she had prepared for a maximum of two weeks with just the official guide books of those years. In fact, she didn't even complete the official guides properly. She probably did only around half of the questions of each section and went in the centers with a mindset of trying my luck. Obviously, it did not work. Now, since the official guide wasn't enough for her, she decided to buy a complete course from one of the best test prep companies in GMAT Club. And after a lot of research and webinar viewings, she decided to go with GMAT Wiz. After spending almost four months learning materials from the course and doing quizzes on the platform, she started taking mock tests and quantum verbal based tests from around September. And she sat down for the GMAT at on 25th of October 2020. Her score on her third attempt was 650. Q49 and V31. Bummed. She decided to take a break for a few days to recalibrate her mind and restart her efforts. Now, from her quant score, it was amply clear that like where she went wrong. It wasn't that she didn't know the content or theory. She had taken five mock tests prior to the test and had scored the following. Now here are the scores. So first mock test that she took was from Kaplan and her score was a 670. Second was from Ver Veritas Prep with a score of 700. Third was the GMAT Prep Official Mock 1 with a score of 710. Fourth was Manhattan Mock where she scored a 630. And fifth was GMAT Prep Official Mock 2 where she scored a 750. As she took a few months break and started the revision once again, she decided to do things that she hadn't done the last time. And this included practicing questions from the GMAT Club forum, keeping a balance between quant and verbal, sticking to and memorizing the template of AWA, and using the GMAT complete math book and the Manhattan books. Now, during after actually her third attempt, obviously she got pregnant and her health at, was not in the best condition. So she decided to book the online exam ASAP. Her proctor was a very nice woman from the subcontinent and she did take a lot of time to complete the check-in process, but overall she felt that she wasn't too stringent or picky, which did make her check-in much smoother. She followed all her instructions of showing the whiteboard and the bag inside of her room and her table during and after every single break. And after the entire drill of almost five hours, 730 flushed on her screen. She was so relieved and my god that's an amazing score so this is what she said now even if I can't apply to any school or none of the schools take me and I remain a Bangladeshi housewife for the rest of my life I can always look back to this time as one of the toughest things I have ever done in my life and try to be proud of my dedication towards a goal. I do have an entire notebook of useful formulas and rules from different sources, and if you guys want, I can scan it and attach the folder in a separate thread. Till then, cheers and good luck and never give up. And for those of y'all who want to check this out, I will link the debrief down below so do click on that and check out actually the entire debrief down there and yeah one thing that she mentioned in the end was her target was initially 720 
and her final score was a 730 with a Q49, V41, an IR score of 4, which is okay, and an AWA of 6. But wow, Sleepy Doodles, an amazing debrief. My god, the fact that you took this test while you were pregnant is commendable. So congratulations for your score if you're watching this great job and for those of y'all who are watching this video if you wanna you know appreciate her journey give kudos to her debrief by clicking on the link down below just register as a gmail club user and give her a kudos that's basically an equivalent of giving a thumbs up on the gmail club form so yeah guys thanks for watching uh hopefully next time i bring out one of the debriefs that maybe you guys would want me to read out and if you are preparing for the gmat at the moment feel free to share your journey with our gmat club audience i mean we love to hear your GMAT journeys, I think it motivates everyone and you know everyone's human, everyone goes through their own journey. So it'll be a nice read and hopefully I'll make a YouTube video out of it. But yeah, till then, see you guys and bye bye. <laughs>